Okay, so uh, I forgot to mention about the p-value for chi-squared distribution, so I thought I'd just do this homework assignment in Excel and uh, kind of work it that way so you can hopefully get this in time to do your homework. So uh, here we go. All right, <clears throat> so here's this particular problem number three on your homework, so for the chi-squared chi goodness of fit test. Um, so the table below lists the frequency of wins for a different post position in a horse race. So here's all the positions. So I want to copy this into um, Excel. So I'm going to copy it into Excel, paste special, and then here's all my data. So this is the position of the horse, which has nothing to do mathematically, but this is the number of wins for the position. So, um, <coughs> so to test this out, we will do a chi-square goodness of fit test. So I want um, to find the expected values values here in this column. So if nothing was going on, if nothing was going on, then we would expect it to be all the same here. So we would expect the, the expected frequencies, if I total this up, oops, something happened. If I total this up, What's going on here? So I total this up, I get 117. So total value, so 117 total uh, races. Um, and so if I split that up between 10 different uh, positions, I would get um, equals 117, whoops, 117 divided by 10, which is 11.7. So 11.7 all the way down. So for the expected values, for position 1, I would expect 11.7. Position 2, I would expect that many wins to occur or around that. Um, so now I want to calculate the chi-squared distribution, the chi-squared um, um, test statistic. So um, chi-squared um, test statistic. So to do that, I will do a bunch of formulas in here all in one. I'm not going to take it step by step, but I'm going to do a bunch by using parentheses and say I'm going to take my observed, whoops, got to hit equals to, equals to those two parentheses, observed minus the expected, then, um, I will square those. Oops, I forgot to do the square inside the parentheses. Then I do this square. Then divide by the expected as well. Hit enter. There's that particular one value. There's all of them at that point, and I want to add those all up. What's going on with my sum formula? I don't really know. Don't want help. So I'm just going to select those, and for some reason my sum formula isn't working when I double click. So this is my chi-squared. And so now I want to find the p-value. So the p-value for this chi-squared distribution. Oh, let me enter my chi-squared my chi squared over here so that way we can see we got the right one. So 9.4 one zero to three decimals. So I'm going to check the answer. Good job. All right. So now I want the p value. So the p value, to find the p value, we just start typing in equals chi squared distribution. If, if I use this one, this is a left tail. It says left tail test. And if we remember the chi squared goodness of fit is a skewed distribution. So, and it, particularly, it's right skewed. So, and we're always looking to the right, so I'm not sure what the left one does, but, um, so we want the right tail test. So let's use the right tail test, and we will use our x, our x is our chi-squared, comma, and degrees of freedom. Degrees of freedom is the number of categories minus one, and we have ten categories minus one, which would be nine. We end that, and this is my p-value, around 40%. Ooh. That's a large p-value. So I want four decimals, so four, zero, zero, three. 
and I check my answer, good job, and then I answer the conclusions. Okay, I hope this helps. Uh, so yeah, good luck.